Hello, everyone. Welcome to Glory Talk. Today is January 10, 2024. Welcome. I, I have uh, more words for you from God the Father. And uh, before we start, let's just pray in this whole word and this whole day and everything God wants to say. Amen. All right. Lord God Almighty. Lord, 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 Lord. Ooh, we come before you. I honor you, Father, God, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. I honor you, I praise you, I love you, I adore you. Hallowed be thy name. Bless your holy name. You are everything to us and for us. Thank you. Lord, I just pray that everything you want to say comes through. That everybody has an open heart and mind and soul and, and to receive what you have to say and to be to be clear and efficient and effective and get the word out to everyone. Yeah. And Lord, I just pray that I effectively, efficiently get it out and no more distractions and no more delays and uh, and that we display you, Lord God Almighty, Yes, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, we display you to the world. We display, we display you to the world for your kingdom and your power and your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Okay, so I've got a word here for you. This word, I... So if, if you don't know, I get downloads from God and what'll happen is that I'll just keep, you know, seeking him, praying, just waiting upon him. And then I will get downloads into my head and then I write them down. And sometimes I'm doing things through the day and um, he'll let me know that's something he wants to talk about. So he'll do it then too. And then I'll write it down. All right. So that's how I get these. Uh, this was something he told me on... January 8th, 2024. And uh, I'm going to get this out to you. Amen. Now, I had heard this right at the beginning, so I'm just going to tell you that. And it was like, he said, you are not lost. You are not forsaken. And then he went into this word. And it was like, all this, all of this just came right through. And he said, what I do and will do, no one can stop it. The doors... I open will stay open. The doors I shut will stay closed. No man will be able to open or close any door I open or close. What must commence will be known on the whole earth. I am the God, the Father of all. <coughs> Excuse me. And then he said, You will see the fall of all mankind serving evil, fall. They will be lost in all their endeavors, confusion, desperation, and mocking everything I will do. And then he said, for the seas and the lands are mine, the great nations and its spoils are mine. So this is just God telling you, this is who he is. Um, this is who he is and he's sovereign over everything. It reminded me of, you know, when you serve God and everything, too, that there is, in Isaiah 60 and 5, and I just put that out. I remember putting that verse out. And it was like, when you serve God, then you're going to receive those things from God. So look that one up. I want you guys to look up Isaiah 60 and 5. Amen. Because he talks about the seas and the nations and the spoils. So I'll repeat that one more time. For the seas and the lands are mine, the great nations and its spoils are mine. And by the way, those come to us, by the way, because we're serving him. Amen. The great reveal of all that was evil will be exposed. The lie and deception is the devil's. Why do the nations waver? So I'm going to repeat that. I just felt led to repeat this. And remember, the Holy Spirit's talking to you all the time. Just tune into what the Holy Spirit's doing and be aware of what he's doing in that still, small voice and get to know him. Get to know him, everyone. 
for the seas and the lands are mine, the great nations and the spoils are mine. And then he said, the great reveal of all that was evil will be exposed. The lies and deception is the devil's. Why do the nations waver? And he said, watcher of day and night, I am watching it all. Do not hide anymore. Come out into the light, for my light will expose it all, all that was hidden in the dark. The darkness shall fall. There's a lot going on there. You know, there's a lot of judgment coming through. And uh, wow, a lot of judgment coming through. So here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat this one more time because this is pretty important. He's, he's like he's calling it. He's watching. He wants you guys to watch. But he is the watcher. So he says, watcher of day and night. I am watching it all. And that's what God said. And he said, do not hide anymore. Come out into the light. So he's telling it. He's proclaiming it. He's uh, uh, commanding it to come out into the light. And he says, for my light will expose it all. There it is. And all that was hidden in the dark, the darkness shall fall. Amen. It's coming out in the open, guys. And then he repeats, the darkness shall fall. Oh, you who are of little faith, where are you in all of this confusion? He said, are you pressing into me and my word? Or are you believing in man's fate of lies and, dis and disbelief? And I'll repeat that. Are you pressing into me and my word? Or are you believing in man's fate of lies and disbelief? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He said, for all will be shaken, shaken to the core. Repent, my people and unbelievers. Repent, those of you who still hold on to the lies. Awake, those who are sleeping. Your slumber is not for long now. Awake and know what I am about to do next. So I was reading this like, wow, God's, we're coming in this time of, of judgment, waking up, the whole works, it's all coming. He said, do not pretend to be a believer and know what is coming. That's interesting. He said that. He said, your true deeds and heart will expose you and who you really are. So he's talking about the true believers. He's talking about the people that are pretending to be believers. Um, and he wants, he wants you to know you needed to be a true believer. And he says, do not pretend to be a believer and know what is coming. Because there are those people in the wolves in sheep's clothing. Look that up in the word. And he said, your true deeds and hearts will expose you and who you really are. So it's going to come out where your trees, uh, sorry, your tree, true deeds and heart will expose who you really are. So God says that's coming. He says, I am the refiner of your souls, hearts, and minds. Ask me to know and cleanse you of all the sin you hold on to. So he's asking you to cleanse your sin. He's asking you to cleanse your soul and your minds and your hearts. So he's the refiner of those. Amen. He says, the sinful nature, ah, let me get that right. The sinful nature of your hearts will not stand. Nothing that is selfish and not pure will not survive. So he's coming to a point here where he wants everybody to be serious. He wants everybody to know what he's going to do. And he wants you to get it right. Get it right with him. He says, the sinful nature of your hearts will not stand. Nothing that is selfish and not pure will will not survive. So he is doing judgment. He's taking these evil people out. Now remember, this is for the people that are not serving God. These are for the people that are that are not truly serving God. And he said, I am the provider of it all. The time is set. I will draw a line in the sand. What will be done will be done. And I love his his descriptions, because I love that he, he talks this way, because we can actually relate to it. I like that we can relate to it. And he says, I am the provider of it all. The time is set. I will draw a line in the sand. What will be done will be done. Amen. And he said, I am ready to move, move on the earth. Get ready, set, here I come. I love that when he says that. I am ready to move, move on the earth. Get ready, set, here I come. And he said, for the righteous will see their reward. I will protect you, hold on. So remember, those who believe in Jesus, those who are 
right standing with God, those who are coming into repentance, living a repentance lifestyle with Jesus Christ. He's talking about these people. For the righteous will see their reward. I will protect you. Hold on. So hold on. There's going to be some really crazy stuff happening. So he says, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will protect you when things go crazy. And he said, oh, and I rem I was remembering something in Colossians 3, 23 and 24. Look that one up. He was referring to that about the righteous will stand. Yes. And he said, the wicked will not survive. No, they shall not. I will remove them once and for all. So he is talking about everything that's out there. That's the evil elite, the evil, the people that were serving the true evil narrative of the day. And he said, blessed are those who seek and wait upon the Lord. I will renew your strength. And I love that because that refers it to, it reminds me of Isaiah 40, verse 31. And they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. That's beautiful. I love that verse. Go ahead and look that up. And he said, all the world is my stage, a grand performance of my love, mercy, and grace. So that's cool. I love the way he talks and how he refers to things that we can understand because we do see things like that. We do hear things like that. All the world is my stage, a grand performance of my love, mercy, and grace. And it even flows and rhymes. I love that. Amen. It's beautiful. And he says, continue on, my saints. Keep strong. Stay in the faith. So remember, don't, 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 uh, don't go towards the evil, you know. Don't, talk, don't go towards sin. He wants you to stay true and strong. Continue on, my saints. Keep strong. Stay in the faith. Amen. He said, of all things coming to those who wait. Yes, yeah, so stay in the faith. Keep strong of all things coming to those who wait. And that also is <laughs> part of Isaiah 40 and 31. Look that up too. Yeah, he said, a promise to those who stay and pray and wait. That's beautiful. It's a promise. He said, for my blessings are coming to those near and far, as foretold to the great and small. I am always with you in all things, no matter if they are small or great. Amen. And then he said, I can promise you as you look to me and come to me as a child. It is a childlike faith. I want you to trust and obey. And that reminds you of having a faith like a child in Luke 18, 17. Look that one up too. He said, believe me when I say all things great and small will come into obedience one and all. The choice is yours to make. Do you believe in me or not? It is that easy. Everyone must choose or make. The decision is yours. Don't waste your time on foolish selfishness or pride. Come to me, come to me, come to me. And he's emphasizing that because it's very important to, for all of us to come to him. Even the ones, of course, the ones that don't believe, but also the ones who do believe. All of us believers, because that's how we stay in true relationship with Jesus and Holy Spirit and God the Father. We stay in true relationship with a repentance lifestyle with him. Yeah. And he says, my son has made a way. Ask him to live in and inside of you. Do not wait. Do not wait. So, so he repeated that again. Do not wait. Do not wait. He's beckoning you. He's calling you. And he's saying, believe what Jesus did for you. He died on the cross for all your sins. Repent and believe in him. And that's in believing in Jesus Christ and believing in him. And, you, and he died on the cross for your sins. And look up John 3.36. Look that up. That's what it reminded me of. John 3.36. And he said, your time has come. Don't wait any longer. I will take care of you while you wait upon me. I, the Lord, your father, will love you while you wait. And I love what he said there because... I'm going to read it one more time. Your time has come. Don't wait any longer. I will take care of you while you wait upon me. So it's while you're waiting upon him. And he says, I, the Lord, your father, will love you while you wait and while you wait upon him. Now, this isn't talking about uh, salvation. He wants you to have salvation right away. He wants you to have salvation right away. And he wants you to ask for forgiveness right away. But when you come into waiting upon the Lord, like it says in the word, he says, wait upon him. He says, I will take care of you while you wait upon me. I, the Lord, your father, 
will love you while you wait. Wait upon him. Wait upon him. Get to know him. He's, he's beckoning you to get to know him better, to have that communication going between him and you. Oh, praise you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I'm feeling the Holy Spirit show up here. Um, yes, Lord. Keep going. I'm going to keep going with this. He said, for the kingdom at hand is upon you, the kingdom of my saints. You will rule and reign. The turnaround you seek is here and now. All must line up to my timeline of things to come. Praise God. He said, I will finish my word, my truth, and my light. The greatest kingdom will be displayed on my earth. And remember, that is in the word. Look up the kingdom age. That's He's referring to the kingdom age. Because that's what we're in. He keeps referring this to the kingdom age that we are in. And he says, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I'm feeling him. I'm feeling Father. Father. Thank you, Father. Excuse me. He said, you can count on these last days of evil to be few compared to what you will see in the future and in front of you. So this time is short now. He's saying this now. This time is short. All these evil days are short. And he says, comparing to what we're going to see in the future and in front of us. Amen. Thank you, Father, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. Remember to acknowledge him all the time. Praise him. He said, great is my faithfulness to you, my saints. I believe in you and what you will display of me to the world. A light that shines bright, full of my grace. Praise God. You know, that's in Matthew 5 and 14 and 16. He talks about... Uh, be a light to the world. Amen. He says, oh, praise you, Father. I felt that. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, God the Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. So believe, stand tall, and receive my blessings. He says, everything you wanted will be and come to pass. With a servant's heart, you will receive it all, lined up to my mercy, full of my grace. Hmm. Praise God. Oh, Lord, thank you, thank you. He said, you will be receivers of all my love has to give to you. Praise God. He said, the fullness of love to display to the world. Oh, I love that. He says, you will be receivers of all my love has to give to you. The fullness of love to display to the world. There, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. The fullness of love to display to the world. Praise God. Go and love while the world falls apart. You will be safe. Oh my gosh, Lord. So he is referring to how he's tearing down all the evil. The evil is not going to stand. And we are going to be safe. And we are supposed to go out and love while it falls apart. Praise God. He said, the days of the old will be no longer as the new world will prosper under my truth. So... There is referring to it again. We're coming into a new kingdom age. And apparently we are in the kingdom age. We're just having it come from the spirit to the natural. Because I've already known about this for some time. And I have actually, um, when God allows me to hear certain prophetic voices and words, um, we are in this kingdom age already. We're just watching it come through from the spirit to the natural. Praise God. And he's told me that a lot, by the way. He says, here we go, removal, correction, and my truth shall remain. So remember, he's going to remove them, and he's going to correct everything, and he's going to come in and say, my truth shall remain. So everything that stands for his truth, his righteousness is going to remain. He said, reveal to my people and all who are willing to hear. Now that's not, that's saying that People still need to hear his truth. They need to hear what he's going to do. They need to understand what he's going to do. And some people are just stubborn. They don't want to hear the truth. They, they are just so caught up in what they're doing. But he's going to reveal it. He's doing removal. He's doing correction. And he's putting his truth out there for all of us. He's having us stand on truth, and it is the only thing that is going to remain. He said, reveal to my people and all who are willing to hear. Praise God. Be willing to hear. 
Be willing to hear. He said, for the righteous shall prosper under those who truly follow me. Let no one miss out on my promise to come, a promise I will not delay. And that reminds me of Proverbs 12, 7. That's where the righteous shall prevail. That's right. Look that up. And he said, so go ye unto all the nations, be full of my grace. You will win the gathering of souls for me. I will not delay a harvest more than ever than will that will be seen on the earth. You will witness this in your time and life with me. Okay, so he's referring to, I, I've noticed this about God. He wants to put these um, yea and these and thous in, like King James. And it's like a King James translation. And he, he wants people to know these are certain indicators to certain people to speak in King James. And so this is a key or an indicator that this is for you. This is for you to hear this, that yes, this is God the Father saying this. He wants to put in some King James uh, language into it. And it's like an indicator. It's like a identifier for you to receive. Amen. He said, so I'll repeat this. So go ye unto all the nations, be full of my grace. You will win the gathering of souls for me. I will not delay a harvest more than ever that will be seen on the earth. You will witness this in your time and life with me. And remember, we are going to see the great harvest of souls come through. And this is in the word. Look that up. He said, finish the race. Be strong of my love and grace. Now is the time for a strong finish. You will win the race. And I'll repeat that. I think it's your race. <laughs> finish the race. Be full of lo my love and grace. So I'll say that again, finish the race, be full of my love and grace. Now is the time for a strong finish. You will win your race. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And he said, for the greatest outpouring is here for you, saints. My glory and presence will be great. I will change lives, souls, and heal everyone. You will stand in awe of me as I reveal myself to all. All is all. And then he said, the great deception will be removed while my truth shall reign. My truth shall reign. My truth shall reign. And he says, I love you, your loving Father God. Amen. All right. So when I was reading this earlier, and remember what he said right here. He said, I will change lives, souls, and heal everyone. Isn't that amazing? Because we are coming into that now. We are coming into the, the divine kingdom, the divine kingdom. It reminds me of us coming out of the great exodus of Israel from Egypt. And it even says in Psalms 105, 37, and this is the King James Version. Look that up. It's the new King James Version. It even says, um, there were no feeble among them. We're going to be healed, by the way. And when we're walking into this kingdom, and we're coming into and, and, and being living in our kingdom age here that we're coming into in this era. We're not going to have any feeble among us. The believers in Christ, we're going to be healed. He's going to heal us all. He's going to heal us all. Just letting you know, it's beautiful. He's been saying this for a long time. And I just want to, I just want to remind you again, he's going to heal us all. He is. We're coming into this age, this kingdom age. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. Thank you. So uh, God's presence was here quite a bit when I was saying this word. So he wants you to know that his presence is here for a reason. He said, because um, when people lift him up and when people and saints lift him up and, and just draw close to him and speak his words of truth, God's presence will show up. The Holy Spirit will show up. And it's, it's what he wants for you. It's something that I have tuned into and God has allowed me to feel and hear and see and, and, and how he wants me to operate in him. And so I want you guys to be encouraged to go after God, to realize when God shows up, to realize when God speaks his word into your life. And when the Holy Spirit's there, and you can hear a still small voice. That is the Holy Spirit. I want you guys to get into the spirit of the Holy Spirit. He knows what he's doing. He's going to lead you in every way possible. And that's what it says in the word. He will lead you in the right path. Praise God. 
it's all about that relationship and how our relationship affects our walk as we go through life. And we have to know him. We have to, we have to believe in him to get pure life. Yes, to get pure life. So ask Jesus into your life and repent saying, and here's your chance and say it with your words. If you need to ask Jesus into your life, all you have to do is say, Lord, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry that I was trying to do without you. Forgive me. And I repent. Forgive me. Because what? He died on the cross for your sins. All of it. And say, I, I, acknowledge, what you died on, I acknowledge what you died on the cross, Lord, for. I acknowledge you. Thank you for forgiving me and taking all my sin away from me. Forgive me. That's all you got to say is forgive me. <laughs> and then you say, Lord, I want you in my life. Please come into my life. I want to believe in you. And that's what the word says. We die to sin and live for righteousness. So we ask him, we, we ask him into our lives. We believe in him. So Lord, I believe in you because I want to die to this sin. I want to live for righteousness. I want to live with, with pure light in me, with your pure light in me. And Lord, I want you in my life and I believe in you. And just say it with your words. And now you're what? A child of God. You're born again. Praise God. And there's another one, Lord, or another one. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, for doing that. Another soul saved. And renew yourself. If you need to renew yourself, go ahead and renew yourself. Ask him back in. Be serious. Be serious and ask him in. Amen. All right. Praise God. All right, so I believe that's it. Um, I'm going to wait on the Holy Spirit a little bit here, but I'm going to keep talking this out and um, just be aware of, remember, be aware of what the Spirit is doing in your life, what the Holy Spirit's doing in your life. Get to know Him. Get to know where He leads you through Word, through the still small voice, through God's Word, uh, through everything, music, even people that come across that you come across and they're lifting you up, you know, do that. Get to know him and find out how he talks to you. Amen. And remember, you guys, keep lifting each other up in the spirit. Keep lifting each other up. That's what he wants you to do. Tell people about Jesus, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. And then they will tell you if it's another believer and build each other up in the faith. Build each other up in the faith, just like it says in the word. And guess what? All you have to do is do that. And then if they don't believe, you just say, okay, well, you present that to them and then let the Holy Spirit do the rest because it'll go in there and it'll just stay in there and then the Holy Spirit will work on it until they actually acknowledge it. They actually want to do something about it. And that's Jesus in their lives. Amen. Amen. So thanks everyone for supporting me. Thanks for doing all these things. And please uh, like, subscribe, follow, and share all the videos, words, and posts, and getting me out there. And um, just doing that. And when you do that, it helps uh, signal the media sites, you know, and uh, the platforms you're on. And, and it just signals them so, okay, this is important. I want, I want, and they will want to share this more with everyone. Also, if you want to support me, I'm, uh, I'm, you can support me at paypal.me slash glory talk and patreon.com slash glory talk. And that's where you can support me. And um, uh, let's see, anything else, Lord? See, I'm on Facebook, YouTube, and um, Patreon. That's where I'm at. Anything else, Lord? Um, yeah, that's where you'll find me. So anyway, until next time, I love you guys so much. Please keep going towards the prize. Don't give up. Like he said in the beginning, don't give up. Let me get that. He said, you are not lost. You are not forsaken. Don't get lost. Don't think you're forsaken. He's right there. He's right there. He wants you to know that. He's right there. So keep moving forward to the prize of Christ and keep moving forward in winning this war. Amen. Until next time, you guys, I love you very much, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.